Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau in einer sehr äh, freudvollen Zeit für uns hier. Bonsoir à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in Saint-Baudel. Et c'est un uh, temps très heureux pour nous. Oui. And now to our English speaking friends, hello and welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau um, here in Colombe and it's a really happy time with happy news. Wow, is this a much a better week. <laughs> <laughs> so, Uh, it was, it took nine days, and we're going to talk about that later, right. to get her back, but she's back. She is. She's healthy. If, in case you don't know anything about our channel at all, <laughs> we're talking about our missing dog, Nessa, who was gone for nine days, and we will, we will get to the whole story about that later. And I can just tell you something that Stuart doesn't know, because she just, um, I cut a, a slice of, of uh, country bread off for the three dogs who are separate right now for their, their own reasons. <laughs> um, and Nessa has now learned that she can, um, she might need to steal food, so she <laughs> tried to steal an entire loaf of bread. That was like three minutes ago or five minutes. No surprise that no. she would do no. That. no. A new behavior that is no surprise that she learned. Nope. After nine days. No. So But she's healthy and she's good. So. Yes. Yes. What are we talking about? We are talking about uh, our new bespoke Chateau Gates. Yes. Let's do that. We had a lovely little situation. Right. <laughs> we were we were both uh, working on our computers, doing stuff, uh, and uh, I started hearing uh, somebody who was outside yelling. We had the the dogs were out of the front courtyard, and we had the kitchen door open, so the dogs were coming in and out, and you know where they could come see us. Which they do every day, all day, all day long. And there was a, a sound of somebody who was talking, and it sounded way too close to be outside of the gates. So I got up and then looked, and there was uh, a Frenchman who was standing at our kitchen door. He had come in through our side gate, and he was uh, going on about our dogs, and that all of our dogs are uh, loose and out, because he had come through the gate, And he had left the gate open and then came all the way up to the kitchen door to tell us that our dogs were loose because he had opened the gate. Now, in, in France, you don't just enter. When, when gates are closed, you don't enter. No. So what people do here, they stand in front of your gates and they honk. Honk their horn. It's yes. in the country. So Everyone does it. Uh, this guy opened the gates. Yes, and our dogs were gone. And I... I'm sorry, I just lost it. Yeah, and time. he's and all he all he was saying in French, he was just saying about oh, there's there's so many dogs, right? He kept just kept talking about oh, there's just so many dogs, and and Patrick started yelling at him about why did you leave the gate open if you knew they were getting out? Why did you leave the door open? I told him he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, and, and he was, uh, and he had nothing better to do than instead of helping us to get the dogs back. Yes, he went he went out. out got into his car and took off as fast as he could, leaving us to chase our dogs down. And thank you, John, for being here. Yes, John, John was a big help for that. He, he came from uh, down in the, from Cologne, down near here, and he was carrying one of our dogs in his arms, bringing it back to the chateau. So. We got all them back within like 10 minutes. Yeah, and that instance... was not a big deal. In that instance, we were able to get all of them back quickly. So. And so... Jane and Tony said, okay, that's not good. And we couldn't really lock that, the side gate. So, right. um, that yeah, there's, there, the, the gate isn't aligned, wasn't aligned correctly. So you could not use the closing mechanism on the gate the way that it should be used in order to secure the gates. And so we were having to sort of uh, fix a temporary uh, thing on the gates in order to keep them closed because they, were, they weren't aligned properly. And Tony looked at it and he, you know, of course, Tony's like, oh, yeah, that's easy. I can fix that. Anyway, that got the ball 
ball rolling right. in a whole new direction. So Tony and Jane had their ideas about um, how about the, 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 the main gate of right. the chateau. And Stuart had ideas, I had ideas, but right. I mean, I, I, you know, it's, right. and, uh, and our, it's an idea. And our front main gate uh, has pretty much been, not been able to be opened since we've been here. Well, for, for many years, because it was right. uh, stone, a road, so it was loose. And in any case, so they used to be much taller, but they also used right. to be made out of wood, because we found right. remnants of the old hardware, which you only put on wood, not on metal. Anyway, right. so uh, Tony, Jane, and, and Stuart, and, and I got together, and we, we talked about it, and looked yeah. at things, and, and ordered... Some iron, right? right? Right, right, They had they had some ideas because you know uh, we we sort of had an idea of what we would like because of all the chateau that we have seen and some of the large beautiful gates that we had seen and and uh, they shared with us uh, their ideas because uh, of what Tony's experience is with doing all of his uh, iron work and things he's done in the past. So it was kind of a collaboration of what it is that they could share with us of the things that he could do and the things that we would like and then kind of all work together to come up with a new larger gate for the front of the chateau. Little did we know how big it would turn out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Fantastic. Uh, and it works. It Even does. the dogs agree. Yeah. So it is huge. It's um looking at it right now, it's very pretty. Anyway, so um Toby just Got on, cr cracking on, and and did the gates. We right. we got the ornaments and, and what we wanted, and it's um, beautiful and it's working. Good Lord! And uh, uh, Jane and Tony were here, and and John to help, right? Because they are now uh, the, the the old gates were I think six feet, about not quite two meters tall. Right now, this gate is I think three meters fifty, and they are going. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was amazing. And and who else did we have help from? Oh yes, Cassandra Angela was here. Yes, she's been here. She was here for a week, and and while she was here, uh, she did uh, other things uh, uh, as well around the chateau with some gardening and weeding and stuff too. But she and also planting and planting. Yes, a, planted a couple of more spring bulbs, bulbs, more bulbs. spring bulbs, and uh, she helped with. The uh, the inst again with all of us with the installation and the painting of the the front gates. Yes, and um, while we were searching every day, it was either Tony and Jane were here, so take care of the dogs, right. or uh, Angela took care of the dogs. So it was uh, it takes a village. It was great. Uh, really, it was great to have help and support, which we we desperately needed, and we. Um, uh, it, it was just great. Yes. Good Lord, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, take a look at our creating our new front gates for the chateau. So, I'm thinking that the top of that arch, Stuart, mm -hmm. I'm thinking these should be about the same position. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. And I'm thinking that if I get my grinder and cut through these bolts here, I'm thinking I can then cut below these and then use these to twirl straight by on top of the arch. Yep, that'd be great. That's what I think. Yeah. Yes, I think three come from, what, one, yeah, two, three, four. Yeah, borrow for the other gates. Four, yes. And then you'll need to decide what you want to put back on the other gates. Yes. And then are we thinking the... them things in the bag, Stuart, in there? Are mm -hmm. we thinking we want them on here, but obviously the other side? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you've got if that works, I mean, because we have just we thought that they're for the middle. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get them. Maybe them it's stupid, and then we just no, no. give them back. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. Mm. Is 
when the guys came through here, yeah. who knows how they, I mean, when they came loose with the stone. Yes. Is it actually where it should be, on a pivot? I yeah. think it is, it just but sitting there? it no, might also be a little over. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is. Look how this is yeah, what. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's still metal in here. Yeah. That's what breaks the stone as well, because yes. when it rusts, it expands and then it breaks your stone. Right. That's what you see on a lot of shutter. You know, when the shutters are in the that happens quite a lot. I just stuck them through as I can just carry them around because I'm lazy. <laughs> This is correct, actually, in the... It is okay in here, is it? Yes. Okay, good. That's, that's, that's very handy. Okay, that's good. And that one's okay as well. Yes, that good. one actually worked. Oh, okay. Once. But good. when you see how much stone is missing there, it doesn't... Yeah. doesn't yeah, absolutely. Scream, oh, be confident to open me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we'll do first, I think, is take the measurement on the bottom and then put all that stuff together in there. Awesome, yep. And then um, if we can get some power out here, I'll then attempt to get, take these off without, because they, we, we like these. They are quite yeah. pretty. Yeah. And you can't you can't get those. No, no. Unless you go to like a salvage. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think they're, they're, they're custom made. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Someone spend a lot of time doing them. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm going to measure that curve, see where that curve comes to, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to chop, then take these off of here, chop these back, and then use them obviously in there. Yep. I want to, let's go and have a look at that and okay. agree before yes. I okay. chopping it yes. out. Okay. If we had them at this height, then the spikes yeah. could be. Just too below heavy. Yeah. They're, they're, they're obviously full around as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And I'm also thinking that our first spike uh, comes through here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so to not in, compete yes. with the scroll. Absolutely. Now, what I'm thinking is to set these bars. Um, this is obviously the front of the gate. Where yes. We're going yes. Right. But, and then I'm thinking of setting these bars further back on the angle lines. Okay. So that then our new. Um, a new uh, round bar will go straight behind these and follow through so it'll look as if it's right, good. right. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Yep, brilliant. Okay, so then I'm thinking, so does that, that mean you'll use fewer spikes because yes. of the yeah, yeah, because the ornamentation in the yeah, middle, so, right? So then, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 260, so our first spike will be here and then here. And then obviously they follow the curve back. Yeah. Right. So what will happen here? Will the bar come through just to the flat bit or will it uh, just stop underneath? I haven't thought about that yet, but oh, I'm okay. thinking that if I cut them bars off at, at say there, there, that'll come through there. If I cut 250 there, so it'll be 450 to get to here. I'm just gonna go and look at something. <laughs> Yeah, they're cast. You see, you see, you see the end of the, the end of the material. Yeah. So they could, they, they didn't have the technology to weld these on. You see, in in years gone by, but now we can because I've got cast iron welding rods. But they didn't have that, obviously. So they had to bolt them on. But I'd have thought that would have come off there, you know. And she just wants. Grinding down a bit more. Is this why some are broken? Oh, oh yeah. Um, drilling it out from the back. Yeah. Yeah. That would take. See, the brains trust do it, so you know, yeah. come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let's have another go. Uh, 
Um, well, I don't know, you see, because what I'm thinking of is they pushed a rod through, a mild steel rod, because if you notice, if you notice this, we've cast, we've got a red spark, almost no spark at all, and then when you weld the mild steel, Mm -hmm. They're cast iron, not any spark at all, but they're red, and they and mild steel when you grind it is orange. Well, it's clear to go, I mean. oh, wow. <laughs> You amazing. learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> they wouldn't have threaded it this bit. And... Well, they might have done, but then I can't see that. Sorry? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, yes, just a dash. Oh. Just punch on Thank tea. you. Oh, don't you? Hello. Shell yeah. the tea. Yes. Ah, well done. Is there a head on the front part of it? Yeah. So is it like a rivet or a screw? I don't know, but all I do know is we've had, we've, we've had a result. You had a result. Excellent. So we know that. Unfortunately, Tom, things. that's one of the broken ones. No, they, no I broke it. Oh. Can't lie. You can weld it back together though. <laughs> it doesn't matter, we can use all the different all the ones that are not broken. Because we're gonna save four yeah, at gonna, least here. Yeah, it might even be six. Less. Yeah. So I fancy that there and I'm fancying also that Oh it's done the same there. Yeah, done there. the same here and the same here. And I'm thinking that come that will come out complete. Oh, and yet yes. they oh, might have welded this, this mild steel to this mild steel, because that's mild steel. So, oh, this is mild steel. Yeah, that's mild steel. So is this. So everything else is apart from the decoration. So what I'm thinking of is, is now that we know these are going to come out, I can measure these to come right the way through. Leave these, cut these off here somewhere, or down here, so it, so it looks better. And then we can put our new pipe down into this i'm hoping and it might slide into the back of this you know oh, i see so it looks like it's always been there as a yeah so, 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 so you've so, got the so, step of the old going into the new yeah, and it's always yeah. been there yeah that's what i'm thinking well, that's good <laughs> yes well we did measure it didn't we yeah yes you did yeah <laughs> Yeah, but I, I'm not going to pretend I measured anything. Things they make nowadays don't always measure up with things that they made no. in the past. Yeah. It's and we know these systems. are over 120 years old because that's the photo is from oh, the late it. 1890s. Oh, wow. So this is... Yeah, yeah these are the same gates that are in the old postcard. Yes, it's been a while. I mean, it's, it yeah. did so hold up well. <laughs> well, I think so, yeah. yeah. No, they should bolt on. There should be a oh, bolt. Right. On yes, the yeah, this should be the same as yeah. the top one. Theoretically speaking. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh, tea, look, queen of tea. Oh, well done, Excellent. Chef. Oh, well, I'll take the gloves back off for a minute. Queen of tea. <laughs> we'll have tea first. <laughs> oh.
As you can see, Tony is a genius, and Tony and Jane has, have helped us so much at um, Not Quite a Chateau channel at, on YouTube. Right. They're amazing. So it's, I, I don't know um, how this happened so fast, but they have become such wonderful friends, and, and we feel very blessed. Right. We do. Um, so it's what they, they have helped us, well, what they created, what Tony did uh it was just it's just mind-blowing and and it fits to the one sixteenth of an inch i mean just right. like within millimeters right. it, it's uh i'm not that detailed so i'm always amazed when people can do this it's really beautiful and it's so stunning i mean it's really like they they were always here right yeah they're perfect for the chateau yeah so Thank you, Jane Thank and Tony. We love you. Yes. And um, can't wait till, till you come back. And then we're going to have a G&T and toast the gates. Yes. At, well, and mess up being here. Yes. Um. <laughs> right. So <laughs> other big news that happened uh, this past week. Yes. Is that uh, we went to Bourges for a meeting. At the Prefecture. Yes. And so uh, since I'm a European citizen, I can just... Sit here and it's fine. Uh, but Stuart needs to have his carte de séjour mm -hmm. translated. It's a day card. So it's, it's your ID card. Right. And it's a whole list so, uh, of, of things you need to provide them with. Originals, copies. And, and whenever you go to the river, you go, oh, good Lord, what did I forget this time? Actually, um, I had everything together. Everything Everything that was needed. The lady was we just, so lovely. She oh, was she was adorable. fantastic. She was yeah. really cute. She was. Yeah. <laughs> and everything was there. Yeah. And so we got our... Well, we, we both did. Yes. Yes. We, they, they issued them right there. So we have our, our preliminary cut de séjour. So Stuart is now legal in France. How about that? Yeah. How does it feel? Fantastic. <laughs> Good morning. It's early. Uh, we were at the prefecture at 9 a.m. today. Oh, and right there behind us. There. We are in Bourges. Yes. Yeah. And um, we have our carte de séjour Yay. is in. And we're going to, so we have the provisional. We will get the one that is permanent sent to us. Mm -hmm. So Stuart is now legal in France. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> it feels so different. Yeah. And um, 
the prefecture, anything with, with government, it doesn't matter if it's in the United States, Germany, Africa, you know, African countries, I lived in South Africa. You never have everything together. We had everything together, perfect. Yeah. One sitting and we are in. We are in. Thanks. One year ago, yes, we were in, on a trip in France and it is our one year anniversary of our first visit to the chateau that we now live in. That's right. It was, it was in October of last year that we actually put our first video on YouTube. Yes, right after we came back to the United States. Right, we had our intro video uh, before we left. Mm -hmm. And then when we came back, our first video was about our trip yes. to France. Yes. So it's one year, a drink to that, cheers. I will too, cheers. So it's not one year in France, but it's uh, one year since we fell in love with the Chateau. Right. And, and one year for our, our YouTube channel. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of amazing. And um, we, we couldn't have done a lot of things without all of you. And it it's, has been such a rewarding time for us. Uh, and and the input and support we've received from our viewers on YouTube um, or subscribers, we can't thank you enough. It's right. really fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering who this is, this is the girl who ran away and survived nine days through thunderstorms, hailstorms, nights, hunts. It's yeah. hunting season in France. Um, and she's completely healthy. Uh, she has no broken bones, no scrapes, no nothing. Nothing at all. She is not terribly skinny. Mm -hmm. And she is... Uh, <laughs> she made us whole again for coming back. And it was... Yeah. Uh, we were out in the field. It's uh, through Facebook and a neighbor. Thank you. Who connected with another neighbor who had a friend who said, Oh... I have this dog outside and she, uh, three nights in a row, she took a picture and she did pa across two major roads, at yeah. least twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, showed up every night for three nights at a house. And so a neighbor picked us up or guided us to another house. And then we went to the house where this little monkey was seen. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, initially we thought when we, we got the phone call and when, the, and when they showed up, we had thought that actually somebody actually had her right. at the house. But what it was, was we found out that they had just uh, been spotting her coming to the same house every night for multiple nights. And so this was, and th that time of day was about the time that she would come around. And so they took us there in hopes that she was going to come there at that same time while we were there. And so I had to excuse myself to Stuart and the ladies and I walked into, you want to get down? Do you want to get just down? Let her know. <laughs> she deserves okay. to do whatever she wants to do. Uh, anyway, so I just had this urge to, to walk. So I went into this long path that's next to field and, and I called her name and called her name and the light was fading very, very fast. Mm. And then our neighbor's son, I heard him yell out of the blue, I see, I see a dog and there were, so there were, there were Stuart and she wanted to go to Stuart, but she saw these two ladies in the, in the right. I think nine, 10 year old. And yeah. so she was like, no, not doing this. So she ran the other direction. And so I sweet called her and she uh, hesitated a moment, mm -hmm. realized it was me, ran to me, yeah. crawled into my arm and I was, I was kneeling in the mud. She came and uh, picked her up. I walked to Stuart. I, no one here wants a, a reward for anything because this is what neighbors do. Right. It's, uh, we can't tell you how blessed we are with everyone here in France who was incredibly helpful. Oh, yeah. The comments you left were amazing. And there yeah. were so many all of, the, all of the thoughts and prayers were just fantastic. And, and I'm sure that it did help. To, uh, to get her back. Right, and there were so many of you who said, don't give up on her, and right. we wouldn't have, but nine days or nights in the wild is, it's a tough cookie yeah. to swallow, and um, <laughs> she's there. 
Uh, she just uh, proved that she is really tough. Uh, she's a little huntress and yes, and we uh, really, we, we cannot thank you enough. And <clears throat> right before all this happened, uh, our friend Irene sent us this care package from Denmark. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not all of it was care. I mean, it, it was a lot of uh, delicious. <laughs> it was it was both, it was both beautiful <laughs> and delicious. And yes. we got this beautiful um, uh, uh, royal porcelain manufacturer yeah. uh, coffee pot, which yeah, I can I use that for tea? Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> it is this, it's it was so nice, and uh, thank you. I mean, because it really. Uh, a lot of the items she sent, like marzipan with plums in it, and mm. really helped us through this time. Whenever we yes. were really depressed because she, we couldn't find her, yeah. And we walked over a hundred kilometers, so that's oh, what every some yeah. miles because yeah, we every were day. Out every day, yeah. Um, but she's here. Thank you, Irene. So uh, she is here and. Really perfectly healthy. Yeah, and thank thank you to everyone <laughs> for all of your advice on on different things related to uh, how to find her, uh, who to contact, uh, lots of advice on that, and uh, different things about GPS collars and, and everything. And we, ha we have already decided on what we're getting, and I, th I believe it arrives tomorrow for, for all of the dogs. And they are getting a GPS collar that will work here in France. Um, it is not an air tag. Uh, air tags are only Bluetooth, they're not GPS, in case anybody needs to know that. And so we actually are getting a collar for her that it is uh, weatherproof, it has uh, no limitation on the GPS, uh, it actually, you're able to set up a, a boundary that if any of the dogs go a little bit outside of their boundary, you actually get notification about it. So. Our dogs are getting all of those tomorrow and they're all going to be uh, safe from now on. Oh, and let me just say that we, we did offer a reward. Yes. For her return. Yes. And uh, the, the three ladies that all work together yes. um, in terms of connecting and, and uh, Mathieu, that is uh, uh, a neighbor and who is a uh, member of the family who owned the chateau before. Yeah. Uh, no one wanted the reward. They all said, no, this is what we do here. So um, the, the money that we had set aside for the reward is paying for all the col colors. Right. And I think for about two years of fees for, it, it, it's a monthly subscription. Right. But if I don't ever have to go through this, right, again, right. <laughs> it's well right. worth it. Absolutely. So we are, we are absolutely thrilled and we've started uh, with some uh, new projects. Uh, John is coming back uh, next week, right? And uh, he's right now in England. And I think in two weeks we will actually start to finally really renovate because then he's done with the uh, electric work in the hall. We are going to start to renovate the hall, right? And it is so exciting. Yes, yes, it's it really is. cool. Yeah. So. That, that there's a lot of stuff coming up, um, and there's a background in the making, which I started sewing when she ran away. When she disappeared, or, yeah. All of them. And then that stopped. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You okay. can't sew while you're in the woods. Right. <laughs> Into the woods. Right. But we are whole again. Yes. Thank you so much, all of you, for your help, love, and support. Yeah. See you next week. Bonjour. Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.